here, I'm going to show you how to use the clean function. It is a great little function that helps you clean your data. And in this tutorial, I'll cover a few different examples that show you how it can be useful. First up, let's talk about the syntax. It is a very, very easy function to use. You type equals clean and you put the text you want to clean in the middle of it. Or you just reference the cell that has the text. Now let's go with my favorite example first, which is multiple lines. Oftentimes when you import data into Excel, let's say you copy paste it from a website, it's going to have multiple lines like this. It is very, very annoying. And the easy way to get rid of that, there are a bunch of ways you could get rid of it. The easy way is just clean equals clean, enter, done. My text is on multiple lines. Now, just in case you're wondering, since a lot of people don't know this, if you want to put your text on multiple lines, so let's say you have it like this, all you have to do is Alt Enter. It's a great little feature. But now that you have taken your text from multiple lines to a single line, let's move on to the next example, which is hidden characters. This is really what this function is supposed to be for, not just multiple lines, but things that you don't even know are there. So this example right here looks exactly like this example, but check it out with the len function right here and the len function right here that counts how many characters are in a cell. Notice this one says nine, this one says 11. This cell is the cleaned version of this cell. Now, what do we have in this sneaky little cell? We have a char nine and a char 10. What the heck is that even? Well, it's just some unprintable characters. So it is stuff that you cannot see that's not really going to affect anything in here except making your hair fall out faster. And it's usually not going to be like this, where you have the char function that actually creates this character. It'll usually be like, if I control C, Alt ESV, that's copy paste special values. Now, if I double click this, it looks a little different. There's no char anymore, but you've got some white space over here and here. It looks just like a cell that kind of looks a little goofy that you might skip over, but it's still 11 characters instead of nine characters. So the clean function is going to save us there. You don't even have to know what's going on. You just see this and you say, hey, this looks crazy. What do I do? Put it through the clean function. All right, I will back that up so we get those char guys back. Okay, that way you can play around with them on your own. And let's move on to the weird characters example. This one happens a lot if you copy paste data from the internet into Excel. And we just have some goofy characters here. So there's a goofy character up there. I don't even know which char this is, which goofy character it is, but they tend to find themselves in there when you copy paste data. Now the best part about this one is, once again, you don't see the character, but if I hit enter, now you see the character. So just a little troublemaker. And all we do for these guys is very simple. Equals clean, clean this guy, all right. And clean this guy, all right. And if you want to uh, verify, I'd like to use the len function to count what's actually in the cell. So we have 10 and we have 10. That's for the original cell there and the original cell there. And now let us copy it over one. So it's for the new cell and the new cell, nine and nine. So we have for each one removed the weird annoying character. Now I do need to warn you about the clean function, okay? It seems like it's everything we ever wanted it to be. It is so great. And even Microsoft's description of it seems so great. Let's see what they say right here. So I back it up, removes all non-printable characters from text. That sounds great, doesn't it? All right, nice. So let us make a character equals char 160 and text. Okay, let's put a len right there. See how many characters we have? Five, nice. Now let's clean it. Okay. Now let's see how many characters we have here. Five. Amazing. <laughs> so it doesn't work. How nice is that? And if you go to Microsoft's own help page for this function, 
just under where it says that it removes all non-printable characters, it has a big note that says, we don't remove these non-printable characters. And then it gives a list of maybe five or six or seven. But anyway, the point is clean will get you a long way there, but it's not going to get you all the way there. And you should check out my other tutorials that show you other ways to clean data. There are many, many more things you can do to clean data. And I also show you how to get rid of the evil char 160 character or any other hidden little character like that. I'll put links to those tutorials in the description of this video, and you should definitely check them out if you want to clean your data better. But for this tutorial and the clean function, that's all there is to it.